हेलो क्लास नाइन्थ टुडे वी विल डिस्कस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ लाला लाजपत राय विच इज ए पार्ट ऑफ लेसन फोर पेज वन हंड्रेड टेन मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव एन एजुकेशनिस्ट अ फोर्सफुल राइटर अ सोशल रिफॉर्मर पोलिटिकल वर्क आउटसाइड इंडिया बिफोर डिस्कशन ऑफ द टॉपिक वी मस्ट नो द फॉलोइंग टर्म्स इम्पीरियलिज्म अ पॉलिसी ऑफ एक्सटेंडिंग अ कंट्रीज पावर थ्रू यूज ऑफ फोर्स कैपिटलिज्म economic system which is controlled by private owner legislative assembly lower house of state legislature national education national education consist of primary and secondary education orphanage residential institution for those who are separated from their biological families downtrodden oppressed or treated badly by people in power preach teach message of belief procession act of moving together in order passionate expressing inter- intense feelings children today we are going to discuss about lala lajpat rai and his contribution as you know lala lajpat rai was popularly known as punjab kesri or sher e punjab lala lajpat rai was a great leader who worked for the country's freedom he was born in vash family of village jagraon in ludhiana in 1865 he was an eminent lawyer prolific writer enlightened educator social reformer strong fighter against british rule eminent lawyer means he was very important lawyer prolific writer means highly productive enlightened educator having critical or rational outlook social reformer who want to reform or bring the change in positive sense he was influenced by arya samaj movement now let's come to the reading part children just have a look on picture of lala lajpat rai who was known as punjab kesri or sher e punjab now let's come to the reading part contribution of lala lajpat rai lala lajpat rai from he born in 1865 and he died in 1928 lala lajpat rai was also a great leader who worked for the country's freedom he was born in vash family as we have discussed of the village jagraon in ludhiana district of punjab in 1865 he born in 1865 in village jagraon in district ludhiana throughout his life he contributed to the national movement one way or another he even gave his life for the sake of his country when he died in 1928 as a result of lathi blows that he received while opposing the simon commission simon commission commission appointed by the british government to investigate the further constitutional reforms lala lajpat rai was a great speaker a writer and author of many books as you know lala lajpat rai was a great speaker prolific writer author of many books like call to young india england's debt to india and political future of india when he was in usa he started monthly magazine young india to spread the message of rights of india to attain swaraj means self rule lala lajpat rai founded the english weekly like punjabi vande mataram and people he also wrote a book on national education that he called for the freedom of the prevalent education system he was a great lover of indian culture and religion now let's come to the reading part he was a lover of the indian culture and religion he was a great social reformer social reformer means who want to bring the change for the improvement of society and an educationist educationist means one who give the moral and intellectual instructions he op- opened orphanage and hospitals orphanage is a place where the people who are separated from their biological families live hospitals are the places where the patients are treated he set up servants of people society for the welfare of downtrodden and outcast downtrodden means oppressed people outcast those who are rejected from the society he was an active worker of arya samaj 
and laid the foundation of DAV College at Lahore and various other education, educational institutions. He was a person with his help the DAV College was established at Lahore and various educational institutions were also established with the help of Lala Lajpat Rai. Moreover, Lala Lajpat Rai joined the Congress in 1888 and remained its worker till the end of his life. He joined the assertive nationalist in 1907. In 1920, he was elected president of Indian National Congress. He became a member of the Servants of Indian Society. Lala Lajpat Rai arrested in 1922 with the other leaders. In 1923, he was elected the Central Legislative Assembly. He gave his life for the sake of his country. In 1928, while leading the procession at Lahore against the Simon Commission, he was injured in a Lati charge. On the day when he was wounded, he said, Lati blows inflicted on me would prove someday as a nail in the coffins of British Empire. His dream was fulfilled on the 15th August 1947. Now we will have little discussion on Simon Commission. Simon Commission Simon Commission is India's statutory commission appointed by British government. It was popularly known as Simon Commission after the name of its chairman Sir John Simon. Simon Commission was appointed to investigate the need for the further constitutional reforms. The commission was composed of seven British members of parliament. It has no Indian member. The commission was greeted with black flags, demonstrations under the slogan, Simon, go back. The government used the brutal suppressions and police attacks to break the popular opposition. Lala Lajpat Rai was beaten up mercilessly on October 30th, 1928 at Lahore railway station while leading the demonstration and lost his life as a result of the Lati blues. Now let's come to the reading part. Lala Lajpat Rai was fearless, bold and passionate lover of India. These were his qualities and her people. He was a great patriot. Patriot means one who loves his country, who lived and died for his country. He had a great political leader, nation builder and bold nationalist. Being a great patriot, national sentiments were driven force of his life. He never favored the policy or programs of early nationalists. As we have discussed, early nationalists were those who believed in the constitutional methods to bring change, who believed the constitutional method to achieve their objectives. Lala Lajpat Rai was a fearless, bold, passionate lover of India. He was a great political leader, national builder, bold nationalist. He never favored the policy or programs of the early nationalists who believed in constitutional methods to achieve their objectives. He advocated continuous struggle for freedom. His boldness and courage earned for him the title of the Punjab, Kesri or line of Punjab. He struggled hard to arouse the sentiments of patriotism and nationalism among people. Now let's come to the remaining reading part. To quote him, after 20 years of the peaceful agitation for bread, we, ha we have got a pebbles and stones. It means the early nationalists joined the Congress in 1885. From 1885 to 1905, for the 20 years, they demanded Swaraj through the constitutional methods, but they did not get. He advocated continuous struggle to achieve freedom. He was having faith that one day he will definitely got the achievement. He struggled hard to arouse his, the sentiments of patriotism and nationalism, means love for your own country, among the people and to prepare them to make any sacrifice for their motherland. His boldness and courage earned for him the title of Punjab Kesri or Loin of Punjab. In the end, the one saying by Mahatma Gandhi for him, on the death, Gandhiji said, Men like Lalaji 
cannot die so long as the moon shines in the Indian sky. Children, today we will do till here and you will have to reread this part again, learn the related question answers and kindly follow the snap homework. Thank you.